Hi guys, I have a very important message for you today before our video from our sponsor, PointZeroEnergy.com. Download their free informational kit right now. It's free. You have nothing to lose. How to create an off-grid system you can bet your life on. What would you do, God forbid, if the power went out for a day, a week, or maybe a month? Do you know what type of equipment that you would need? How much power you would need to power your appliances, your refrigerator, your stove, your air conditioning? Again, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Click the link below right now, download your free informational kit, how to create an off-grid system you can bet your life on, and visit our sponsor, PointZeroEnergy.com. Do it now. Don't wait. What up, Internet? Is Hillary Clinton unfit to be President of the United States? Does she have Parkinson's disease? Is she going to die? The Internet is currently rife with rumors that Hillary although she's accused Donald Trump of being unfit to be president of the United States, is actually mentally and physically unfit herself. We know, for example, this is a fact, that in 2012, Hillary Clinton had a violent fall that resulted in a concussion and a blood clot in her skull. Now, although her physicians claim that she made and was likely to make a full recovery. Can we be so sure? Would this and can this explain her erratic-like behavior, recent mental outbursts, her seizure-like facial expressions that are even throwing reporters off guard going, wow, oh my God, did I really just see that from Hillary Clinton? The list goes on and on, folks. And at first glance, I think many people are going to write this off as some kind of conspiracy theory, right? <laughs> this is just right-wing nut jobs and right-leaning websites doing everything they can to potentially discredit and derail Hillary Clinton's campaign. We came, we saw, we died. <laughs> Remember, there was a guy named Matt Drudge who was the first to break the Monica Lewinsky scandal who also was originally laughed at. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Who was considered a crackpot conspiracy theorist only to be proven correct and only to be proven fact. Remember, I, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Boldface lie. Would this also explain Hillary Clinton's continuous lying, whether or not it is the recent email scandal where she blew up her infrastructure that she built, her actual email servers in and around the same time she was emblazoned in another scandal that made up Benghazi Gate. And we no. were misled that there was supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that, an assault sprang out of that. And that was easily but ascertained I, that that was not the fact. But, but, and the American know, people could have known that within days, and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect, the fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? The death of Christopher Stevens, CIA liaison, and several other Americans, her inner circle and former Secret Service agents, detailing to the public that she was very violent, not just to Bill, her husband, but also her staffers. Byrne paints a disturbing picture of what he claims Hillary is like behind the scenes. When something goes wrong, she seems to go right off the scale. Instead of trying to fix what the problem is, she uh, she goes right to anger and, and berates who she holds responsible for. Byrne told me that as first lady, Hillary actually hit a Secret Riley, Service agent in the Bill back of the head Biden with a Bible. She became angry about something. She had a Bible in her hand. She didn't actually throw it at him. As he described it to me, she leaned forward and kind of punched him in the, hit him in the head with it. He says the Clinton White House was like a battlefield, and the president showed up one morning with a black eye to prove it. Could it potentially explain the strange lesion 
on her tongue. Now again, many people are going to write this off as conspiracy theory, but after watching the videos again and again and studying them closely, not edited, that's the thing. Now a lot of these videos we're seeing are edited. And as somebody that's in the video world, I can tell you it's very easy to create any narrative that you want to create uh, based on your you know, level of skill set and you can kind of make things look not what they appear. But having watched and after watching the actual footage of these recent seizure-like mania episodes, I will tell you, this looks legit. Could we be on the knife's edge of a breaking story that absolutely decimates Hillary Clinton's chances of being the next president of the United States? She's on anticoagulants. Um, number one, do we have a right to know? And number two, what do you make of this this twitching thing that she keeps doing? I'll keep. I'll run it again. <laughs> well, you know. Why are you laughing? You're the Certainly. brain surgeon here. I'm just a humble little host. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks funny. Uh, you know, certainly um, as a person gets older, you know, the number of, of medical conditions uh, that we have to watch for increases, which is one of the reasons that we strongly suggest as you get older that you have at least an annual examination. Uh, if you're going into a very important position like this, it's, it's critical. Right. And uh, that information should be something that we should have access to because it's very important in terms of making that decision. Also recognize that the presidency is not a nine to five job. You yeah. know, it is extraordinarily grueling and you need to, to have everything right. going for you. And also the mental capacity. But here's the bigger question nobody, nobody is talking about. Why would her handlers why would the New World Order elite and these globalists position Hillary Clinton as a Democratic nominee if they knew this prior, that her health condition was so severe that she would end up dropping out of the race? Why would they do that? Why would they position her in that manner? It's looking more like Hillary Clinton either has severe brain damage, complications of her fall in 2012, and a blood clot in her skull, according to her own physicians, although she's been on blood thinners and they say she's expected you know, to make a full recovery, that's something to be questioned. I mean, why don't we have an independent physician disclose? She keeps bitching, for example, about Donald Trump's tax returns. Well, why don't we have an independent physician review Hillary's health to prove to the American public whether or not she's fit or unfit to be the first female president of the United States. But again, I ask the question once again, if this is true, if we are on the knife's edge of this truth boiling over and basically being cum-shotted all over the faces of the American public, and I, yes, I know, I realize that's pretty graphic, but it's, a, it's almost what's about to happen. If that happens, why have her handlers, this New World Order power structure, positioned her in this very position to take the fall? Because play this in your mind. What happens next if this leak comes out and it's the basis of truth and she has to step down? Who is a replacement? Is it Joe Biden? Have they planned that? Is it somebody else? Is there, well, I think obviously there would be major uproar from the Democratic Party itself, also Bernie supporters who are already tremendously pissed off that, you know, they feel that Hillary Clinton stole the election and that obviously with the WikiLeaks leak proved that there was corruption inside the DNC, which led to the downfall and stepping down of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Donald Trump has had a disastrous few weeks. If you look at the polls, he needs a miracle. Um, in the American political lexicon, there's such a thing as the October surprise. 
the stuff that you're sitting on, is, is an October surprise in there? We Do you even know what you're sitting on? WikiLeaks never sits on material. Uh, our whistleblowers go to significant efforts to get us material and often very significant risks. As a 27-year-old who uh, works for the DNC, who was shot in the back, murdered uh, just two weeks ago uh, for un unknown reasons as he was walking down the street in Washington. So that was, that was just a robbery, I believe, wasn't it? No, it's, there's no finding. So uh, what that's are you the suggesting? Sort of, what are you suggesting? What, I'm suggesting that our sources uh, take risks and they, are, they become concerned uh, to see things occurring uh, like that. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean... We don't comment on who our sources but are. Why but why make the suggestion about a young guy being shot in the streets of Washington? Because uh, we have to understand uh, how high the stakes are. Who would replace her? And would the New Order Establishment, New World Order Establishment, only be giving the presidency on a silver platter to Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, and would that not also be a pre-planned event? Man, this is crazy. This story has gone viral. I'm getting text messages from, from friends, from acquaintances, telling me, hey, Christopher, have you heard about Hillary Clinton's health? Have you heard that she's got Parkinson's disease? Have you heard that she's going to die? Now, we'll see what the truth is. And again, and again, all of this should be based on fact. But it feels as if we are on the knife's edge of this story officially and the truth officially breaking to the American public. Now, of course, there's been reports from various sources within the independent media that Secret Service agents have approached certain people as a matter of national security to get this story out to the viewing public. Again, as a matter of national security. But the bigger question and the deeper question is why? If this is the truth, why would they position Hillary Clinton in this manner? And I have a feeling it goes a lot deeper than what most of the masses and most of the people are thinking as they're watching these videos and they're watching these, you know, episodes of Hillary freaking out and having these, you know, irregular facial expressions and uncomfortable laughter and what appears to be experiencing symptoms and side effects of Parkinson's disease potentially and or some kind of neurological impairment or brain damage as a result and again, this is factual, of the blood clot that she suffered in her skull in 2012, which I believe Bill Clinton had even admitted publicly that it took her some six months to recover from. Even some on the inside suggesting things like she's often confused. You know, you probably remember during the debate with Bernie Sanders, she uh, took a longer than normal bathroom break. And do we believe Secretary Clinton will be coming around the corner any minute? And Bernie Sanders' campaign argued that she, you know, had broken the rules. Also, think about this. The debates are coming up. Could this be a ploy to somehow get Hillary out of the debates due to her medical condition? I've heard through the grapevine, for example, and we talked about this in a previous video, uh, that Hillary Clinton's camp has been pushing for a sit-down debate so that they don't have to stand. Well, you know, why does she need all this help standing? By Secret Service agents when she's giving speeches or help walking or climbing stairs. And of course, you've all seen the repeated footage of her falling, you know, boarding airplanes and, you know, having all this, this trouble. She even misstepped earlier I believe it was this morning on Monday during a campaign rally with Joe Biden, who also gave her this really long, elongated hug when he, uh, I think he first touched down uh, to meet her earlier this morning. It's like he always has. So Scranton, please, let's give it up for the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden. Again, folks, this is a very, 
deep and intricate web. And I can't help but think that we are on the nice edge of the truth showing itself to the American public and those of you tuning in around the world. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. Click the link below. And I'd like to hear from you. Comments, questions, suggestions, thoughts in the box below.